So last, last night, um, last night I was going into the dollar store. Uh, the dollar store is just up the street a few blocks from me, and I really had this opportunity to really see what I was made of, and I, I wanted to share this with you. I'm in the store, and I, I go in and I get my things. It's not much. Um, I think it was only about three or four dollars worth of worth of food for myself. The only thing I had on me at the time, I had ten dollars. No, I had twenty. The whole story revolves around how much I had. I had twenty dollars. So at this twenty dollars, I go in and I get my stuff. I go, I wait in line, and when I get up to the counter, uh, young guys work in the counter, um, and he rings me up and he says, "Okay, this is going to be like uh, three dollars and some change." I said, okay, I said, handed him my 20, and I handed him that 20. I started grabbing my, my items. He gave me my change back, and I said, man, I said, I don't need to receipt. I said, it's cool. I walk out to my car, and as I'm walking out there, I go in the car, I sit down, and I'm putting my stuff in the seat. I'm getting ready to, to take the change that I was given, and I'm getting ready to put my change in my change holder, and I'm getting ready to stuff my, you know, tuck my money back into my wallet and I realized that in the change that I had out of 20 I only had a 5, a 1 and some change I gave a $20 bill so I'm sitting here and I'm thinking oh you know maybe the guy just simply just didn't give it to me I know that it happens a lot of times especially when you've got people lined up so I go back into the store and I'm counting again just to make sure that uh, the 10 and the 5 and the 1, maybe just have them stuck together, and I'm, I, I'm double checking. I go back in and I'm waiting, and uh, I come up to the cashier again, and I said, Hey, man, I said, when I went out to the car, I said, I just happened to notice I gave you a 20, and uh, you only gave me back a 5, a 1, and some change, and uh, out of the 20, my bill was only like $3 and something. And so the guy just happened to have my receipt, he was on the top of the counter. And he, he was looking at it and he said, yeah, he's like, uh, he told me the number is $3 and, uh, and some change. And he said, uh, and I, you gave me a 20 and I gave you your change back. And I said, no, I said, I know you, you, you gave me change back, but I said, what I'm telling you is I said, you just accidentally forgot to give me a 10. I said, it's cool. I said, you know, I just wanted to come back in and get that 10. And he started looking at his, at my receipt and he started kind of doing this, uh, hmm. Yeah, I gave you your change. I said, no, man. I said, I know you did. And I said, man, I said, I'm not, I'm not laying any blame. I said, things happen. I said, we all get in a hurry or we had a long day. I said, when I got in the car, I said, you had a five, I wanted some change. I said, I just need the 10, man. I said, that's all I need. So as I'm sitting here, I'm not actually sitting there. I'm standing there in front of this young guy. And he's still sitting here going, yeah. And this went on for about oh, maybe two or three more minutes. And I kept telling I kept telling this young guy, I said, it's cool, man. I said, I just, you know, if you can just check and verify, you know, um, you'll find that uh, you, you, I didn't get the 10. I said, I'm not trying to pull anything over you. I said, I'm straight up honest with you, man. I said, I just need that 10 because that's, you know, that's about all I've got on me right now. And then finally, after the young man was just looking at the receipt, I, uh, I just had this moment when I come to a Y, and I'm sure you're going to understand what I mean. When we come to a Y on a road, we can go one way and react one way. We can take another road and we can react another way. There's either two ways you can react. You can either react negatively or you can take the other road and act positively. And I was at that point. I knew that we weren't making any headway, and I said, okay, here's a moment to step up. What am I going to do? So what I did, I just laid my hands on the counter and I said, tell you what, man. I said, if you need that, I said, you go ahead and take it tonight when you find it in the drawer. I said, I got some things that I need to do. And uh, like I said, I said, you know, it's not, it, it's not life-threatening. I just thought I'd try to get it back. But if there's nothing you can do right now, I understand. And as I thanked the guy for his time, he looked at me and he said, okay and i walked out i came in with twenty dollars i walked out with six dollars and some change and i only spent three dollars 
But I had a moment in my life where I could either go one way or the other. Yeah, $10. I don't care if you have a lot of money. $10 is still $10. But what is it really saying about you? What is it saying about me? And I walked out and I got back in my car. My wallet was a little lighter, but my heart was a little fuller. Yes, I could have used that $10, but my character wasn't going to allow me to make a scene of something that really wasn't. Maybe the guy was new. He was definitely younger than me. Maybe he wasn't as experienced. Maybe he was worried that he was going to get in trouble. Maybe he couldn't open the register once a sale had been done. These are a lot of things that I didn't know, so I wasn't going to react in a way as if I knew it all. And that's what I want to encourage you to do. Uh, springtime's here. The weather's going to be changing. We're going to be out. We're going to be doing a lot more. We're going to come to a lot of whys in our road. And I want to encourage you to ask yourself why. Why take the negative road when the positive road can be so much more rewarding? I could have went in. I could have got mad. I could have just pounded on that counter and I said, no, no, no. Call the manager. I want my $10. And I probably could have got that $10. But you know what? I wouldn't have been the father to my kids. I wouldn't have been the author who writes children's books. I wouldn't be the speaker who inspires others. I would be a guy living against everything that I've worked for. For 10 bucks? Come on. Positivity is priceless. Negativity will cost you every time. And I chose to take the path of positivity. And when I got back in that car, guys, I got to tell you, I felt great. And it wasn't because someone would say, oh, you're crazy. You gave up $10. I didn't give up $10. The $10 made me feel wonderful. Now, I've been in there since, and nothing's been said about it. And I'm not going to say anything about it. Because I'll be okay. I'll move on. And nobody else had to have a bad day because of a situation that really didn't amount to much. When you can start taking your eyes off of money and start putting it on the value that you really can give, because that's where the real value is, there's nothing you can't do. I just want to encourage you.